हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू बैक कोडिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन विच इज प्रोटेशन वन इट इज द इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट वी हैव टू डू इज वी हैव गिवन फोर बॉक्सेज इन विच वी हैव टू पुट आइटम्स एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोबेबिलिटीज इन हाउ दैट हाउ इन हाउ मैनी वेज वी कैन पुट दोज आइटम्स इन दीज बॉक्सेज लाइक वी हैव आइटम्स लाइक वन एंड टू एंड वी हैव टू पुट दिस वन एंड टू इन दीज बॉक्सेज सो वॉट आर दी पॉसिबिलिटीज वॉट आर दी प्रोबेबिलिटीज दैट हाउ मैनी इन हाउ मैनी वेज वी कैन पुट वन एंड टू हेयर सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटीज हेयर सो लेट से इफ वी आर चेकिंग फॉर वन वन कैन कम हेयर 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 और हेयर वन हैज फोर चॉइसिस हेयर that one can come here or maybe here maybe here or here so if one has occupied any place uh, from these four then two then two will have three uh, possibilities three uh, places to be placed at three has only three uh, uh, two sorry two has left only three choices here if uh, suppose one has occupied this place Uh, and one is placing here uh, one has placed here so that means two has only three places left so it can maybe come here here or here we just need to find out uh, these possibilities of one and two so how are we going to achieve that see as i said we have four boxes and we have to put 1 and 2 so first of all 1 can be placed here that means all the three boxes will remain empty 1 can be placed here that means these three boxes will remain empty if one placed here that means these three boxes will remain empty and if one is placed here that means these three boxes will remain empty this was the choice for one now we have to make choices for two if two um with place here that means these two boxes will be remain empty one dash two dash these dashes uh, dash are representing empty boxes all right when we have to print the answer we need to add zero at the place of dash now one dash dash two here uh, let me mark the path yeah two one dash 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 one two dash dash one dash two here two dash one dash dash two one dash 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 one two and here 2 dash dash 1 dash 2 dash 1 dash dash 2 1 all right so these are the places and these are the probabilities in which 1 and 2 uh, can be placed if we have four blank boxes so uh, we need to find these probabilities how can we achieve these Uh, have you ever heard of the formula npr in this formula uh, n uh, factorial upon n minus r factorial was the formula how can we achieve that n cross n minus 1 cross n minus 2 dash 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 till n minus r minus 1 and n minus r factorial upon n minus r factorial all right so can you see uh, we are achieving uh, we, uh, in this tree we can achieve this formula how first of all there were n boxes secondly in second iteration Uh, after first iteration only three boxes are left that means n minus 
in second iteration only two boxes have left that means n minus 2 this will reach till n minus r minus 1 so this was the mathematical uh, presentation for this question so now we will just solve this question let me just make this tree for you once again so that you will not get confused again we have four boxes and we need to put one and two in such positions that and we just need to uh, check in how many positions one and two come here if one occupy first box that means one and all the three boxes which remain empty if one occupies this box that means uh, dash one dash dash for this dash dash one dash and for this dash 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 one here we have three possibilities for two one two dash dash one dash two dash one dash dash two here again we have three possibilities for two two one dash 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 one two dash dash one dash two again three possibilities two dash one dash dash two one dash 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 one two here also we have three possibilities two dash dash one dash two dash one dash dash two one this is one all right so i hope you have understand so now let's try to code and then we will see okay now let's try to code while coding we will see what we, what is happening all right so first we need to run the loop to our boxes so that we can travel all the boxes uh, int i is equals to 0 i is less than boxes dot length i plus plus all right because we need to uh, travel to all the boxes so that we can put elements inside the box and when we have to put the element if the boxes is equals to zero that means if the box is empty then we need to put an element an item in the box and uh, how can we put that boxes i is equals to ci what is ci here ci is the current item all right then what we will do we will simply call our function and uh, pass the next item to it so that we can again check for next item it will again check for next item if the box is empty in the next box if the box is empty it will put the next item then again it will check for next item in the end uh, when we will return that that is when we will backtrack from top then we need to uh, replace our item with zero that means we need blank boxes when uh, that means we need our boxes blank so that if the if backtracking will happen all the boxes will uh, become empty but why because we need another probabilities also like in the first iteration uh, one was present in uh, first box and in second second time it was present in second box so and uh, we need the uh, we need all the probabilities so that so that's why we need to um, what backtrack from uh, backtrack that means uh, uh, we need to replace our items with zero now for the base condition when we need to backtrack if our current items become greater than total items uh, like how uh, our total items suppose our total uh, total item is two that means one and two there was two items 
so if our total items uh, current items is always increasing here once in a while it will reach two three uh, initially what i'm trying to say is that initially we have two uh, we had two items that is one and two that is t uh, that means our ti is equals to two but if ci is always increasing that means once in a while it will become three if it is become three that means our ci is greater than ti at this position uh, we need to stop so that we can print our answer because we uh, no need to make further calls okay so here what we will do we will simply uh, once we before that we will run a loop to our boxes int i is equals to 0 i is less than boxes dot length and i plus plus then we will simply print our answer system dot out system dot out dot print boxes and here we will simply dot to print and put an enter and then we will return from here all right with this loop uh, we will be able to print our answer now let's try to run the code accept it let's try to submit uh, correct answer so i hope you have understand the concept we will meet in another question again till then tata bye bye and do dry run the dry run for this code on your own okay so thank you so much